Uh, good. We're, you know, the day of the draft, everyone's always excited. The chance to put the, the whole year's work together and able to add some additional picks. So I know a lot of them are in the later rounds, but uh, five picks in the last two rounds. But certainly able to address uh, some early needs in the first two picks and, and look for some size and strength without giving up uh, the skill values. What did you get in Hawkland or Captain Luck? Uh, Hoglander, I think, you know, arguably one of the guys with the best hands in the draft. Creativity, determination, uh, really quick. I know stature, maybe we give up a little bit in size, um, but he plays the right way. And, you know, things that we talk about even at the combine and <clears throat> at a player of his size, he sort of is, is good, good in the right areas. He's quick where he needs to be, good balance, strength, and like I said, create creative mind and, and high offensive uh, potential. Did you imagine Kevin's going to be available? Uh, we, we honestly we had uh, Kepin in mind at 102 before we made the move back, um, sort of uh, a risk averted, but a uh, chance to add more value and and you know we waited it out, but he was someone we were targeting at that point and uh, excited about 30 goals, high character, big body, wins a lot of battles and um, you know a really determined kid. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a theme of like high motor, high energy players. Is that something you guys target? Yes, absolutely. There was a there was definitely a desire to get a little bigger, but not just bigger. We wanted to make sure we can, you know, that, like I said, there's still player there and enough uh, ability, but uh, high motor for sure, work rates, um, just a some more competitive nature to them. Like James talked about, uh, like a higher pace to play, does that kind of balance as well? Absolutely, and it, you know, when we're talking 17, 18 year old players, generally that motor, you know, is is gonna is gonna lead to more development, you know, guys that we think are, are coachable, that are, you know, determined to get there, that we're going to buy in and, and spend the time that they need to to continue to improve. Even Hoaglander, a, a smaller, shiftier player, doesn't seem to back down from anybody as well. He no, that too. He, doesn't, he doesn't have any fear. He uh, certainly pl like plays where he needs to. Um, he's excellent in terms of puck recovery, down low, and quick hands coming out of the corner, sees that he's a creative, creative guy. Did you guys have him as a first round pick on your list? We thought there was a really good chance that he'd be gone on Friday, and we certainly had to sweat it out a bit today. Uh, he was, the, you know, who we were targeting, and you know, fortunate there. There seemed to be some reaches in the first round. Did that make you feel really positive heading into that second round that you were going to have some very good players available at forty? Yeah, I think there was a there's a, I mean, reaches or not, but I, um, you know, everyone has a different needs or desires, but uh, you sit there sort of anxiously watching what they do, and when someone's drafting someone maybe lower than you have them, you, you get excited, but it's hard. It's a hard predictor. You know, I think there was there was a very clear maybe uh, start to the draft, and we felt maybe around 14, 15, it might take a different direction. So Jim said that put put Colson was basically the last guy you guys were looking at at ten. How thrilled were you to see him there at ten? We were through. I mean, we had him in that first cut of, of players in this draft. Um, you know, and again, I think we talked about it last year uh, with Quinn, a player that you know fits need, but also best available. So where that intersects, you can't ignore it. Um, too much player there in terms of compete, hockey sense, size, power, and things that we you know maybe are, don't have right now in our prospect pool. What can you say about adding both depth to the Yeah, and. You know, he was a player that really uh, showed well for us at the World Championships. Great length, um, power, elasticity, things that uh, Dan Cloutier and Ian Clark both like and feel are very developable. Ah, sorry, they're very, very good qualities to develop with. And is Francis Seferon something you kept an eye on at all in the organization? For me, not, not as much. It was someone I can certainly say that, you know, in his time in Rouen that we were familiar with and liked um, and has continued to progress. So, it, you know, again, where the amateur guys maybe liked him years prior, and then it's continued to develop. It was a nice fit. Five picks in the last two rounds. What were you sort of looking? I mean, they're, you know, it's a bit of a dart throw. Right? Yeah, and the draft. you know, for us, there were different indicators. Um, Harvard Cosmer, someone who certainly, uh, you know, the numbers don't lie on, and, and had some injuries towards the end of the year, so his viewings maybe were down. Um, but someone that plays in all situations that uh, um, sort of had highs and lows in his year this year, but we felt if he can get to the back to where he was maybe in November and earlier in the year, um, has a really good uh, you know, uh, chance to continue on an upward trend. Um, some guys that just more or less that have time to develop, two college players that we are familiar with, um, that are continue to improve their games, go into schools that we're comfortable with, we like the development path. I was going to say, can you speak about McDonough a little bit? A little bit of a lead, where are they heading to Northeastern?
Absolutely, Aiden's uh, he's someone that I've known from out east. He's got uh, played at their academy, and then this year at uh, Cedar Rapids and going to Northeastern, which for most I'm sure you guys are aware that is the exact path that Adam got that took. <laughs> Not to compare the players, but it's a path that we're we're comfortable with. We know the coaching staffs at at all three places. Um, Aiden has continued to develop. He played last year uh, in high school where. Um, as a bigger guy, I can certainly get to the net and continue to do so now with older and in a better league, and we think that trend will continue. Yeah, do you expect him to have a decent role at Yeah, 